Hi folks, white grey. Well, I've got a lot of acrylic black and no acrylic uh, burnt sienna. So I've uh, got a lot of uh, titanium white. So I mix the titanium white with some of the black and you get this lovely grey. I would prefer a warmer colour, but so I'm just using up some of my paints that I'm not really using. Uh, so on the palette here we've got uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, a bit of Bursia, a bit of Payne's grey, some chrome yellow. I'm using it because I've got it. It came from friends who packed up their painting or didn't persevere with the watercolour or oil painting. They gave them to me. Which is very nice when I use them. I do acrylic, acrylic oil and watercolour. There was a time when somebody gave me a complete set of of uh, oil pastels. The, 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 the thin ones, I can't remember years ago. But I did, I did, I did some, and some of them were quite good. I'm glad to say. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to carry on painting the uh, the marsh marshlands I did this one a couple of days ago uh, and I like I like this I'm not so keen on some of the other stuff but the demos and uh, let's just put that there put that in there there we are it won't fall off the, the paper it's just watercolour paper I think it's a bit of a Fabriano 130 pound studio paper, or oh, it might be 140 pound. No, it's 100, see 130 Fabriano uh, studio paper, practice paper. Um, and I'm going to start with uh, the sky, we'll just do the sky. Got a couple of brushes here. I use the largest brushes I can get away with, or the ones I've got, I mean, I've got a complete range of oil brushes, so I did that, but they will wear out eventually. So I'm going to try, I've got a better one of these. And this one is a bit long, the bristles are a bit long, long. it's a varnish brush. That's why I can't hold anybody responsible for it not being perfect. Uh, but I, can't, I can't find the uh, the nylon one, this sort of orange nylon brush. Not for the moment anyway. Then yeah, we'll turn up. So we'll make do with what we've got. Uh, someone I said yesterday that um, I didn't use oil. Well, I do use oil, but you can't see it. I've got it in this little... Uh, oh, these are beer tops from my, from my homemade beer cans, the, the malts. And I save them. They're very, very useful. Uh, eventually they get a bit yucky. Uh, I've got some uh, fast dryer in there as well with some linseed oil. So uh, let's have a overhead grey sky. A bit of a see what happens to this. Eee. Need a bit of oil. I, I should use some liquid. Because uh, liquid, which I've got, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely, so I would use a liquid. I'll just clear out the, the vet gel, that's the stuff I use for the acrylic. No, just scrape it and you just put it off in sheets. It's plastic, acrylic. Yeah. It's just it's a bit of a nail. Okay. Uh, right, I'll just give that a bit of a, a, a clean with a bit of tissue paper because the credit doesn't really mix with the oil. And I'll put out some liquid. And the liquid is a fast dryer. It is a, it is a petrochemical based, but I don't use much of it. Uh, because the the uh, 
the, the oil based dryers and thinners oh, let's just give that a bit of a shake uh, don't agree with my chest right let's, let's put that let's put that in there not a lot just a just a dab no, there we are just a bit of liquid and it makes the paint go much further much quicker I want a bit of a dramatic sky with a light horizon uh, so uh, let's get red, bit of blue, bit of white you don't have to pay any attention to copying just do what you want and make it slightly abstract if you want and I can blend all this now liquid look you will have as well that so you get a good good coating of it that's where we want the light because I'm going to put some blue behind that more behind the trees Just remember I've got some water in there. Ay, 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 ay. Bit of grey, bit of paint's grey. Uh, not enough. Get the sky done as quickly as I can so I can get on to the real guts of things. Although skies are integral, but they, they shouldn't really dominate. Greens are going to go in there. Okay, now I've got a good good a clean with my bit of bit of old flannel in. Swig of tea before it gets cold. It was a cold, frosty start this morning, but beautiful day. Can't grumble about the weather. Well, not in London anyway. A bit, a bit of that oil, or a bit of liquid. I just work away till, till something happens, till I get something that I like. Oh, a bit of blue in there. Oh, I've got some light in there now. Yellow oak, or oh, burnt sienna is a great cloud colour. too bad was it um, but a bit too many layers so let's connect up a bit bit of yellow ochre in do you not want pure white Oh, 
Okay, well that's uh, not bad, let's bung, bung some in across, across here. Right, okay, now, we want to draw a line across here, horizon. Well, you don't have to. Well, actually, it does give me an idea, you know. Uh, that's quite a cold sky, isn't it? So, if I start putting on my, my yellow, my free primary mix for green, Um, we could turn that into some sort of uh, uh, a bit of bit, bit of bit of that. See what happens here. Go and put a bit of a snow in there. See, you know, and a bit of things grey, let's say. Very, very light touch here. This guy is a lovely colour for this. It's not really too dark. A bit of blue, like that. bit of distance. So put a bit of light back in here. Oh, 
Okay, well that's a, something in there. Let's uh, put in some uh, some water, some reflecting of the sky a bit. See, that's what the liquid does. Now we want to reflect those clouds, do the ochre. Now this is what I had in mind, but uh, now I want to get in something here, some nice warm colour. Bit of bit of oak over there. Get some uh, tricky stuff. Oops. Put a bit of snow on there. Put a shadow here. We'll put something in that later. Uh, and we'll get some some of the bank. See now this is making itself up some kind of long. It might not be very good, but it's uh, original. I started off with a, a summer scene, <laughs> it's not a winter scene, where well, it must be the cold, cold outside. I might put some reflection, no you wouldn't get a reflection on the snow would you? Well you might. Sun on that. Just mixing the yellow ochre with uh, some burnt, unburnt sienna.
Oh, we want some grey snow in there. Not quite enough. Touch of yellow. Well, so far we've only used one brush and I let my tea go cold. <sighs> sure I could do something with that middle distance. Let's put a bit of more burnt sienna out. Oh, burst, yeah. We have a toss you. That's the red. Uh, well, paint is great. Oh, no, the paint is great. Oh, there's the ochre. Just touch of uh, touch of that. I want to develop this foreground here a little bit. Good burst, Sienna. Bit of snow. I want to create the illusion of trees with snow. It's not easy because there are no leaves on the trees, they're just twigs. And putting some light in as well.
Just knock that intensity back there. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to have to use a rigger. Now, I want a bit of, bit of dark in here. I've, I've put too much uh, snow in. Because these are in the shadow. Well, that side of them. I'm not using blue in the snow. Oh, let's get a bit of that. Right now, that's supposed to be water in there. Froze, frozen, frozen lake, frozen lake. Let's get more. I'll tell you where I got the idea of this from was, um, although this is nothing like what I was watching, is John Rogers walks around London, Wanstead Park, a very historical place. It's about as far uh, north of the Thames as we are south. So they've got a totally different uh, architecture and all the horticulture is different. Put a paint grey in there. Try to give a, an impression of of the uh, frost or the frozenness with a few broken bits. Uh, well, put that in a mouse. I'm not going to do anything with that. I could put a bit of bit of uh, bit of that in. Of a bush, but we've only used uh, well, we use that to start with. We've only really used paint spray, burst sienna, yellow ochre, and that's about.